सो हेलो देर वेलकम टू न्यू वीडियो एंड टूडेज वीडियो इज गोन वेरी मच इंटरेस्टिंग एज बिकॉज वी गोन कंपोजिट अ स्पाइडर मैन नो वे होम फुटेज आई डोंट नो इट्स हंड्रेड परसेंट लिजिट और नॉट आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू गिव इट अ शॉर्ट एंड वॉन्ट टू सी दैट हाउ द फाइनल आउटपुट कम्स एंड आई वॉन्ट टू शो यू द रिजल्ट ओवर हियर एंड आई वॉन्ट ऑल्सो वॉन्ट टू गिव यू अ क्विक टूटोरियल लाइक हाउ यू कैन डू इट आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू बी गोइंग टू बी सो मच ऑन द टेक्निकल साइड I am going to just be showing you how we can do it, so that you can gain up the knowledge and you can start the work. This video I have got it from online. I have linked in the description like where it came from. And by the way, this video is not to promote any kind of leakness or anything. This is just for the educational purpose, just to for the learnings. And I am sharing this tutorial just for your knowledge, to gain your knowledge and to work on this kind of footages. So the first step will be. removing the background to the foreground as because we're going to change the background and give a new background over there so here's the actual footage so first i thought that i'll be keying it and i will do the paint but the results didn't came out well as you can see it over here it's as because there was a bad blue screen as you can see it over here there are much more bad blue screen and there are so much prep works to do so i preferably to do go out with the rotoscoping as because it was much more comfortable and the footage quality was not quite well so rotoscoping i thought that would be much more better so i stick with that and i got a pretty good mat so for the roto part i have to be very very conscious as because it's very important to do this one to take down every single detail of the shot and to match it everything perfectly because this whole thing is dependent on this roto only if you don't have the proper roto and if you don't have the proper data which we can do the composite part it will be much more worse that's why i didn't prefer to go for the king as because i'm losing so much of data so i preferred the roto if you don't have the software i have got all the softwares linked in the description so that you can download it So here's an output. Now you can see the edges are quite clean, and I got much more better results than keying or paint. So the step two is to add a new background over here. So finding a background was much more complex than it seems, as because we have to look into it. We have to see the dynamic range. We have to see the color correction. We have to see the see the color spaces over here. So it was much more complex. Like after so much of research and everything, I finally found this footage. Luckily. and i am going to place it over here so we imported the plates to the nuke now we're going to take a merge node and we're going to change it into under and we're going to import the plate that is the background and we're going to see that how it comes out it looks okay but it's quite a basic thing so wait for it so this looks quite a bit basic actually and i wanted to make it a much more realistic and a much more story sense as in the trailer we can see there there is a multiverse over here as spiderman himself confirmed it so i just thought like make it a bit more multiverse kind of thing so i just started doing with this so we're going to use a transform node and we're going to shrink it down and add just a little bit and see how it comes out so as you can see the city if the, the city is down it will look quite okay so i'm going to duplicate that one and and merge it and i'll flip it upside down so it came out like how i wanted and now i'll be adding some deep focus so that the edges will blur out and for the front characters i'm going to use some edge blur so that it perfectly mixes match and for the fun thing i just thought to give a small defocus animation at the start so it will come look a bit more cinematic after that i started the color correction so 
so as you can see it over here the edges are not quite well i mean the blue edges are getting so much battened up so for that i'm going to use the silhoud and tone down the blue edges and make it a bit normal at first we will be pressing the key r and not the roto and then we'll start it so first we go on the color separation and just that's it and we will just see the blue lines will magically go away and here's you can see the difference now we can go back and do some color corrections over the background as we did in the character Now we're gonna export it and we're gonna take the right note and we'll be creating a folder and we'll copy the path and we're gonna copy there and write down the name and we're gonna export it in JPEG and we'll copy that and copy there and I will be hitting the render and as you can see this is the output we got from the nuke so the last step will be color grading and make it a final output to add a little sparkles I am adding this sparkles as because when the two spidermans are over here that does mean that the Doctor Strange might also be there so that's why I added up this little sparkle so that it makes a presence of the Doctor Strange so I've downloaded some sparks from YouTube and I've imported it in Premiere. So after that I'm gonna put the spark over the, in the current position and put it into screen in the blend mode. And so the black screen goes out. Now you can see the spark is almost invisible and it has got very light opacity. But still we're gonna dim it so that it looks natural. And we wanna speed limit this because the spark is so much and we wanna lower the speed so that it comes out really well. And I'm gonna duplicate that and again I'm gonna do the same by position I will be tilting the position and putting it somewhere else so that there are some different sparks from different area and as you can see we got the sparks and it looks quite a bit natural so i'm going to put some adjustment layer to do some color corrections over there and i will be importing some luts So this LUT was not looking so well so I have changed and put different LUT and this one was coming out so well and I'll be doing a final color correction in Premiere Pro itself. I'll be importing uh, black bars and to give a more of a flim look and make it a final one so thank you for watching this if you watched till this please do subscribe to our channel it helps us to grow a lot thanks a lot